We've seen the trucker convoys protesting COVID vaccine mandates in Canada, and tonight we're learning about similar demonstrations heading to D.C. This, of course, could cause backups on roads, and they bring tens of thousands of protesters right here to our area. All of this, by the way, right before President Biden's State of the Union next week. Thank you for being here with us at 11 o'clock. I'm Lorenzo Hall. Now, we do know of several convoys heading our way, and police are getting ready. Our Tom Dempsey is live along Constitution Avenue near the White House tonight with what we know right now. Hey, Tom. Hey, Lorenzo. Yeah, come Tuesday of next week, this section of Constitution Ave could look a lot different. As you said, President Biden will deliver his State of the Union that night, but he could be joined by tens of thousands of protesters. After truckers recently filled streets in Canada as part of a protest, next week something similar and possibly even bigger could come to D.C. We have to get the attention in the most peaceful way, and this is our way of doing it. Kyle Sefcik has organized Freedom Convoy USA 2022, one of multiple truck protests being tracked by WUSA 9. Sefcik says almost 40,000 people signed up for the convoy, which leaves L.A. this upcoming Friday, before arriving in time for President Biden's State of the Union address on March 1st. Thousands of truckers will be in the city on the roads. Thousands of people will be protesting this. How concerned should people be in D.C.? Safety wise, zero. Concern for traveling. This could stop work for until the president says, yo, it's over. Sefcik says the protest for him comes from personal experience. As a father and gym owner in Maryland, he says COVID restrictions and mask mandates impacted his business and family. I just want to be able to choose what to do with my own body and the bodies of and my children. That's, that's, that's all this is about. WUSA 9 reached out to highway police in Maryland and Virginia, as well as the U.S. Capitol Police, all of whom said officers continue to monitor the events. MPD Chief Robert Conti also recently warned about the potential impact in D.C. There will be disruptions to traffic, that kind of thing, and I think we need to be very candid with the public about what some of the expectations based upon what we've seen in Ottawa. Multiple convoy groups say they do plan to keep routes open for emergency crews, and we asked Sefcik how long protesters plan to be out here, and he says they will be out here as long as President Biden until he rescinds that state of emergency for COVID. Live in D.C., I'm Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9. All right, Tom, thank you. And you know we'll be watching to see how this all unfolds and looking at its potential impact in our region next week. You can stay up to date on your phone as well just by downloading our free WUSA 9 app.